we were the transition into greater expansion is gonna be the message my lease in my little cute studio here is a piece on fire I just been feeling really disconnected today I have a photo shoot tomorrow as I've been seeing I had a virtual panel for this thing called career talk I think it's about like careers on TikTok. Hello my friends and welcome back to my vlog. My name is Haley Hoffman Smith if you're new here and this is another spiritual vlog in New York City. I like to call myself the friend that helps you turn your pipe dreams to reality through manifestation and motivation and this week is going to be a big week because it is the week before I move into my dream apartment. So I signed a lease on a two bedroom apartment a month ago. My lease in my little cute studio here is uh, the 28th, so this coming Sunday. So this vlog won't show me moving into my new apartment. I'm just gonna vlog through the end of this week, but I will be preparing to move, which means I gotta turn all of this. My room is an absolute mess right now, it's fine. Into <laughs> something that I can just take up. Basically, I'm moving into an apartment that's just eight floors up that doesn't sound that hard it's my friends that are like Haley you need to actually put things into boxes because my sweet friends are going to come help me I need to focus on that this week today is Saturday I have been drinking this entire gallon of water I've been challenging myself to I'm only halfway through but I'm feeling positive I mean it's like 5 p.m but you'd be surprised what you can get done <laughs> I slept in this morning I have been watching how I met your mother I put on some self tanner which is why I look so freaking dark and just did my makeup and I'm about to film some TikToks and I bet your mother is still on behind me because kind of turned it off. So just really excited for these next two vlogs because what an exciting time, you know? And it's so much fun to share it with you guys. This new apartment is just like everything I've ever wanted. I cannot process that I'm gonna be living there a week from tomorrow. But at the same time, it's very bittersweet because my current apartment, you know, this is the apartment that I moved to New York City to live in. And this was my dream apartment at one point. And now this new apartment is my dream apartment. And so just a lot of emotions leaving the space, but also feeling like I've outgrown it. You know, I have definitely accumulated more than this place can handle. And I'm just ready to expand. I really think that the space in which you live dictates a lot about how you feel. Like every space has its own energy. And the energy of the new apartment is just so expansive. It's just honestly an unbelievable energy. So on that note, the spiritual meaning of this of this week because I love to center my spiritual vlogs around some type of spiritual message that I can apply to my life. I want the spiritual message to be all around the bittersweet but mostly sweet elements of leaving behind the small for the big and obviously that's like referring to me actually leaving behind a small space like this for a bigger apartment but I want that to be applied more generally to any way in your life that you feel like you're showing up as a fraction of yourself when you could be showing up as your full self or stepping into a bigger version of yourself and this is partly motivated by this book that I'm reading right now called Big Money Energy by Ryan Serhant. I don't know if it pronounced his last name right, but he's a big real estate guy in New York. He's on Million Dollar Listing on Bravo, the author of Sell It Like Serhant. And I just started reading this book today and I could not put it down. And the whole thing is around like the energy of confidence and just like stepping into your big authentic energy, which you know I'm crazy about. I love talking about anything that's big, like living a big life. My book's called Her Big Idea. So I kind of came up with that on the spot if I'm gonna be completely honest with you. So we'll see what happens, but just like, the transition into greater expansion is gonna be the message. So can't wait to show you guys behind the scenes of packing everything up. I think I'll have a photo shoot this week. I had scheduled one tentatively. I always like to do like one big photo shoot every six months with this amazing photographer. Her name is Yulia. She shot like all of my, every photo you've probably ever seen of me, including like my podcast photo. I think I might change it up for my next season of my podcast. So that will be fun. I don't know, other than that, I'm like, honestly, just need to get everything in order and pack up the room. So there, it's gonna be a fun packing, organizational slash hopefully a photo shoot later this week type of vlog. And then next week's vlog is gonna be the one that you do not wanna miss. Okay, tonight I am making pancakes. I look so tan. This is that loving tan stuff. I like don't recognize myself right now. This is the gluten-free stuff from Bob's Red Mill. I made it with Ankita the other night. And it was so good. I just thought that would be like a fun, easy dinner. I have lately just not been in the mood to cook, but I've also not really been in the mood to go out at all. I mean, for one, obviously I'm doing my three day quarantine past getting back from Tampa. But in addition to that, like <laughs> just lately, I just have not been getting the same joy out of going out as usual. Honestly, there's nothing better than just making something really easy at home and then 
you know, not really thinking about eating. <laughs> For example, those um, gluten-free chicken tenders that I got. So anyways, I bet these pancakes are gonna be really good. I'm adding almond milk to them this time instead of normal milk, just because I don't have normal milk. So to be determined on how that is, but easy, quick, fun, painless, yummy. All the things you'd want in a dinner on a Saturday night, am I right? It's a little not working right out. <laughs> Now that is one perfect pancake. Oh my gosh, the level of satisfying. I'm so glad I captured that on camera. Oops, I took a bite before I filmed because I was so hungry, it's so good. Okay, I finished my pancakes a bit ago and I was working on some client articles and I'm about to record a podcast episode. I actually usually record my podcast every Thursday, but I wasn't feeling it this Thursday and then my podcast editor told me he wouldn't be able to edit it until Sunday. So I was like, perfect, I'm gonna do it Saturday. I've kind of been procrastinating. But I think I'm gonna make this one about the fear of outshining other people. Basically like the competition wound in friendships slash how we usually feel like we have to dull our light or our sparkle and under write our achievements to make other people feel more comfortable. So I think this one's gonna be pretty interesting. Let's do it. Hi friends, welcome back to Big Important Conversations. Today is definitely gonna be yet another important conversation as you can probably tell by the title of this episode. Okay, I just tried to record and I have no idea what I'm saying. I am so tired. I need to wrap this up. It's only 9 p.m., but I think I just need to go to sleep because whatever I'm recording right now is a disaster. I have never tripped over my wood so many times. I need to show you a little bit. In other words, in the part that tend, tended to be a theme. It gets worse from there. It truly gets worse. I won't bore you with the specifics, but we're gonna scrap this and we're gonna come back tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good morning, you guys. More like afternoon, it's 1.35. I still haven't recorded my podcast episode. <laughs> I'm about to record it. Last night, it took a funky turn. You can't make this up. I have this thing called a bed buddy. It's like this warm thing that you can put in the microwave and you heat it up and then you put it in your bed. And so it's, you know, you got something warm on your feet when you go to sleep. It's my favorite, it has never caused me any trouble. And last night when I was like ready to go to sleep early, get a really good night's sleep, I put bed buddy in the, <laughs> see, I'm like always personifying him, it's fine. I put bed buddy in the oven the oven, the microwave, like usual, and somehow he set on fire. <laughs> it wasn't like a raging, blazing fire. I actually didn't even see a fire, but I started to smell smoke, so I went over to like check on the situation, and when I opened up the microwave, billows of smoke came out, and I pulled Bed Buddy out, and there was like a whole burnt part on him, and so I was like, oh, maybe he set on fire, it just like burnt. But even when I was pulling him out, like more billows of smoke were coming out of him. So I ran him under cold water in the sink, but my entire room, my entire apartment smelled like smoke, like intense smoke. Like, you know, you usually get used to a smell and so it can go away. Like I couldn't get used to it. And so it's obviously freezing, but I had to open my window and my window only opens by a little bit. And I was like trying to open the front door of my apartment just to try to get all the smoke out. And I, I was just worried about sleeping with that much smoke in there. I couldn't stop thinking about it, you know? And so then all of a sudden like your throat kind of starts to hurt and you're like, I'm gonna get myself bronchitis from sleeping with the smoke. So I ended up staying up like another two and a half hours trying to get everything to air out. I still have my oven exhaust fan on that's supposed to like soak up any type of smoke smell. Figured out that I had that probably like an hour and a half into my window opening expedition. So I ended up going to sleep at like 12.45 as opposed to the 9.30 I was shooting for. It's fine though, it's fine. We adjust, we move on, but I am definitely feeling really tired. But I have to persist. This is cold brew. I've clearly, this is my second cup and I only have a few drops left, but I need to get this podcast episode done. I need to, it's for Tuesday. And tomorrow I'm launching a virtual retreat, which I am so excited about. I have been talking with my friend Brooke all day. She does graphic design work for me about the whole feel for the camp and the launch materials, marketing materials. Tomorrow is February 22nd, 222. So I wanted to launch it for tomorrow because the whole concept is it's called Dream Away Camp. Six hours of programming over a Friday and a Saturday, uh, a virtual retreat. And 222 is the number of like balance and partnership. So I want it to be about like the dreaming, the really, really, really big dreams, but then what happens like when you wake up from the dream and you're bringing it to action in the day to day. So I need to get all of that together because we're launching ticket sales tomorrow in honor of 222. So aside from her working on the graphic design, I don't really have any of that done. Like I just have all the notes for it on my dry erase board and I'm like, Hey, <laughs> 
kind of a chaotic day, but that's okay. We're working through it. Without further ado, I'm going to do this podcast episode. I'm standing at my standing desk so I can get my energy flowing. I worked out this morning. I've had my cold brew. I've had my focus B stuff. I've been drinking water. I've got everything I need to do to just try to get through this and to do it really well. Technically, this is actually round three because this morning I tried to record and nothing was connecting to my mind. And so that's why I went to work out. And now it's like, where's the day going? Where's the day going? Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of Big Important Conversations. Okay, I just recorded the episode and it actually turned out really well. I'm so excited to share this one. And then what's crazy is that Brooke, again, had been working on my graph graphics and we finalized the graphic the one she sent me that I think is perfect that I'm like yes we're using it she sent me at 2 22 p.m how insane and look how good it looks this is like backwards but dream away and then the day one I'm so excited it feels like my Colorado roots a little bit good morning wow I look absolutely terrible that's fine I'm heading to the gym it's Monday morning I'm launching my retreat today, Dream Away Camp. So I just sent out the email to my email list, but I haven't posted on Instagram. I wanna make sure I have my endorphins flowing. I really think a launch comes down to how you're personally feeling. And this morning I just finalized a lot of like the programming itself. And I'm feeling really excited about the actual weekend, but it's always just to be candid. Like when you launch something and you're like, okay, it's new, like get a ticket. It's like, <laughs> is anybody gonna like it? So I'm just gonna go to the gym, get a good coffee, and then formally launch on Zoom. The okay, just launched the Dream Away Camp. I was called it the Mastermind. I'm used to that. And I'm leaving in this truly terrible outfit. This is like actually awful to go on a walk with Renee. I got my coffee. Woo! It's snowing. Woo! Hi guys, I am just hanging out in bed reading this book, Big Money Energy, It's Really Good by Ryan Serhant. Today has been the launch of my camp. It's gone really well so far, but it's also been kind of just like a lazy day. I worked out a lot this morning between hitting the gym and going on a walk with Renee, and then it started snowing, which was really beautiful. I've just kind of been feeling the need to disconnect, like turn off my phone probably really early. I mean, it's like six, but I had a really late lunch that I'm gonna count as an early dinner and just like read and hydrate and maybe go to sleep really early. I've just been feeling really disconnected today. I feel like any day that you do a big launch or you are sharing something and you're invested obviously in how people respond to it, but I'm constantly checking my email and I'm checking social media and I'm seeing who bought tickets or if people have questions or why well, has it been an hour without someone buying tickets and it can just be very draining because you're not fully with yourself and I feel best if I'm really in the creative flow. But I got some TikToks done, which I'm proud of. And yeah, I just wanted to show the real BTS of life as an entrepreneur and a creator, especially a spiritual one, because I feel I feel it so profoundly when I'm disconnected from my energy and I really do feel that right now. And I just think I need a little TLC in the form of an early bedtime. All right, big hugs. Hi friends, Does it, oh my gosh, I almost, I have a bag on the floor and I almost just tripped over. That would have been the funniest vlog clip ever if my camera made it through. I just got a blowout. Josh came and did my hair. I have not gotten a blowout in forever. I've been doing my dry, my dry bar, my Dyson. I clearly need more coffee. I've been doing my Dyson because I forgot how well it works and getting a blowout should honestly be just like a, you know, a fun event and it definitely was. I have a photo shoot tomorrow as I've been seeing. I am going to fully take advantage of day one of blowout hair and get some filming done. But I've also just started to pack today. By just started to pack, I mean I have put a few things into one box. Round of applause, please. <laughs> <laughs> More coming soon, I promise. I can't believe I move in just five days. What is happening? And I also wanted to show you this really cute dress that I'm wearing because it's from Newly. It's like this cute sweater dress. I have my mask right here because I was wearing my mask when he came and did my blowout. This is where I put my little blowout station. It's like a little salon in my room. Last time we need to be in a studio for a little blowout salon. Isn't this adorable? I love Newly. I think this is like an anthropology thing. It's really soft and warm. So I'll just wear it with some boots when I go out later. Gonna go out to get some din din. And yeah, it's just had to show off the hair naturally, naturally, naturally. Okay, also I've got to get you guys onto this iced coffee, or sorry, cold brew that I've been drinking. I called it the wrong thing in the last vlog. I called it Stumptown, which I, get, I think is type of coffee in New York City, but it's called Stock. This is low and slow, 10 hour brew. It tastes really good. I promise this is not an ad. I'm just like, ooh, hitting my afternoon slump. I need a little caffeine. And it just gives you a really good, um, ew, <laughs> there's something in this cup. It gives you a really good, Low and slow as it likes to say. Caffeination. 
why can I not speak today? I'm kind of concerned. You know, it doesn't make you jittery. It makes you feel like, okay, I can be productive. So I'm going to drink some of this and read that big money energy book that I've been loving and soak in the sun. I should really be packing, but we have four more days and my boxes aren't here yet from Amazon. So it's okay. We'll get around to it when we get around to it. Ooh la la. And then the best creamer, you've probably seen it in my other vlogs, but it's this oat creamer from Khalifa Farms with vanilla. It's like so sweet and rich and only one gram of added sugar. So you only need the tiniest little bit. Yes, baby. And I'll mix it all around and it's so good. We love an afternoon cold brew and reading session. Okay, I am heading out to get dinner at this place called Butcher's Daughter. I've never been, it's vegetarian. That's gonna be a first. And I'm wearing my very favorite boots. This is the boots that are like too high to really walk far distances in. And this cute sweater dress, yay! Good morning, friends. Today is a photo shoot day. I am doing a big shoot with this amazing photographer named Yulia. She's done like every famous photo of me ever. When I launched my Luna Blue necklace, that photo is by her and so many others. Honestly, I could just like tag them all on Instagram and you'd be like, wow, okay. So I think I wanna do a new podcast cover art photo just because I already feel like I've outgrown the, the past one. And next week is gonna be the 25th episode of my podcast on the second season. So I'm like, mm, that's kind of a good amount to like transition to a whole new season. So anyways, shoot is in approximately two-ish hours. So I'm about to get ready. I'm using my favorite goddess skin clay mask from Charlotte Tilbury. I worked out this morning, so I get a lot of blood rushing <laughs> to the face, which I honestly think is just key for feeling your best, looking your best. I just hit the Stairmaster for, I think it was literally 15 minutes. I just do a quick, 50 flights of stairs and you'd be amazed how much it helps. I just always, I always wanna just get hot and then I'm like, okay, I'm good. Like sweat only a little bit and then I'm good. Plus I had to protect my blowout. So I'm like, we can't get crazy. This is definitely for utility only. So I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit. I've been chugging water to get super hydrated. Then I'll show you the outfits that I've chosen. They're from Newly and Rent the Runway. I also, I think you should always rent clothes if you're gonna do a photo shoot. Well, me personally, first of all, you can do looks that you usually wouldn't do. And then also if you're gonna use the photo for everything, you don't feel weird wearing the outfit again. And then you wouldn't cause you're renting. So, okay, cool. Let's go. <laughs> okay, this is kind of funny, but I'm sitting on the floor in front of this mirror so I can do my makeup. I just pulled my drawer out and then I'm watching a documentary on Gaia that's really good. It's more of like a, it's called Infinite Potential. Two part series, but I like to just do my makeup in the mirror while watching. <laughs> Sit down, get really involved in it. So see you when my makeup's done. Okay, yay. Honestly, my makeup isn't exactly where I want it to be yet but I still have a few more hours so I can play around with it a little bit. Let's pick out outfits. So I had a few planned. First of all, I have this really cute silk black dress. It's collared and then it kind of loops around the side. I'm gonna have to be careful with that. You undo it to put it on and then you don't know how to put it on because of all the strings, but it looks really classy. I am gonna do some form of heels with it. It's probably like booby heels, maybe my sink skin ones, and maybe shoot this one outside. Ooh la la. This will probably be my first outfit. It's a, just a really cute halter blue top. Really excited about this one. I've been waiting all month to wear this. It's just this cute, corduroy dress. I haven't tried it on either. So sometimes it's like a surprise. Like we'll get there and we'll see how it works. Ankita said she had this vision of me in a black blazer with jeans and then wearing heels as my new podcast picture. Black blazer, I just have this in my closet. Just gonna wear my Spanx jeans, my fave. I like how they have like a little rip so it feels casual. And then the black strappy heels. So that's really it. I might bring one other clothing option just in case we get onto X Games mode. It's this cute white and blue dress. Let me show you. Okay, this is it. It's from Armoire. It ties around the waist. I put it on the other day and I thought I was just gonna wear it casually and it looked so cute. I was like, I need to save this for a day that I'm like gonna film or take a lot of photos because it's so cute. It's really, really long and I'm really short. So maybe something to wear while in the studio like without shoes on so I'm not like tripping all over the place. But yes, yes, yes. Okay, gonna eat some lunch, um, put on the first outfit, and since my makeup's done, I'm gonna film basically like two big batches of TikTok content today, X 
Dance Games mode. So in my first outfit, and then I'll film some tonight in the other outfits. So really making the most out of these outfits, which is why it's so important for my makeup to look good. Okay, let's do it. Okay, yay, and my first outfit and ready to rock. It's just jeans because I'm gonna do my blazer look second with this really cute top. I'm loving it. The lighting is so good. I think it's gonna be so much fun. I've also had a lot of espresso, so <laughs> I'm gonna try to bring you guys along with me, but I also don't know what it's gonna be like when I get to the studio. Sometimes it's like, can I set up my camera and vlog this? I'm sure she'll be cool with it. I'm sure she'll be cool with it. It'd be cool footage, so we're gonna try. I left things unsaid and you cannot forget how my mistakes haunt us, but do they really don't us? Your tongue can be sharp, cut me close to <laughs> Okay, I just got back from the shoot. It was so much fun, truly the best. I was so frustrated though, I brought my other camera, my little camera, and the memory card kept running out of space. So I only got a little bit of clips, but Julia, as always, was like, let's get this vlogging content. So it was so fun. It's now 3 p.m. and I'm gonna make burgers for lunch. I am starving and then get some packing done. And tonight I have a virtual panel for this thing called Career Talk. I think it's about like careers on TikTok. So I'll prepare for that and maybe get a little rest in. Yay! Hi friends, I just finished up the panel I was on tonight. It went a little longer than I thought, so I wanna go to bed here in a second. It's almost 10.30, but it was so good. Such a good opportunity to talk about the careers that you can create on TikTok and beyond. I know this entire vlog was about leaving behind the old for the new, and what's on my heart is to really just let that come into play over the next week. It's Wednesday, I move Sunday. I'm wrapping up the vlog here so that I can make sure everything's ready to go and post it because by the time you're watching this vlog, I'm moving, what is happening? So make sure to join me over on Instagram because I'll be documenting every single part about the move and then of course vlogging it too. I cannot wait for the next vlog that I'm gonna post. I can't believe it, it's gonna be my new apartment and say bye to my current apartment. It has served its purpose, we love it, we surrender it and thank you for supporting me every step of all of this it's kind of crazy to be to have talked on the vlog about my concerns about finding my dream apartment and now i'm about to move in so big hugs to you all good night and see you soon Bye.